I was amazed when it got here. I didn't think it looked this much like an elephant. From a distance, it does look like the real thing, but up close, the secret's quickly out of the bag when you can hear it needs a lube job. Still, about the only thing this mechanical elephant on wheels can't do is eat peanuts. This is the steering, then you have your gear shift and your throttle and parking brake. The gas-powered Pachyderm is now the property of the Markey Trucking Company of Dallas Town. Owner Wilfred Markey, known for his motor vehicle collecting, purchased it at an auction last October. Dad has, has always liked unusual and different things. I mean, his cars that he collects, his antique trucks and everything, and this was something that he just wanted, and we backed him, and so now we have an elephant in the family. And what an elephant it is. Built in Europe in the 1940s, it's one of only three ever made. Its skin is a canvas-type material, and the tusks are real ivory. At 8 feet tall and 12 feet long, the mechanical elephants are powered by a Ford engine getting 15 miles a gallon with a top speed of 20 miles an hour. And at about 1,500 pounds, its weight is evenly distributed on the legs, so it's stable and not too top-heavy. Although the animal does have a lot of trouble making it up hills. And right now, there's talk the elephant is about to go public in a very big way. Local Republicans hope to convince the National Committee to use the elephant this summer during the National Convention in Philadelphia. In fact, it's rumored this elephant has experience in the political arena. This is believed to be the same motor-powered pachyderm that President Dwight Eisenhower rode in the Republican National Convention back in 1956. We don't know if he rode this one or one of the three that were built originally. And rumor has it it is this one. We're hoping to prove that eventually. In Dallastown, York County, Ron Martin, News 8.